Okay, so we continue from yesterday. Um, so we talk about stationary self-preserving consistency. That means um, I'm given a formula phi, which is a proposition, infinitary propositional formula, uh, which we think of as a CNF formula. It's just a collection of clauses. Uh, so infinitary and uh, we would like to add a satisfying assignment. Um, so satisfying satisfying assignment. Um, we uh, know that if we are allowed to collapse cardinals, there is a canonical concept to do it, which I think we call H of phi, uh, which consists of finite partial assignments that are consist uh, that uh, su such that starting from that assignment. Uh, Layer two can win our consistency. Um, however, we want to we want to uh, do this with without destroying omega one and actually, moreover, preserving the stationary subjects of omega one. Okay, so we saw how to go from p zero to p one. So adding models. But we cannot add all finite chains of models. We actually have to. Uh, so the the first step is actually not what we will do, but that's kind of the attempt to do. Uh, to we find from p zero and then define p one as uh, you uh, your your uh, your conditions were now pairs where you have. Uh, an element of H of phi, so it's a finite partial assignment. And also, among, either it's no models at all, so it's just an element of zero, or at most one, but not all models, only models that are good, and meaning that a uh, player two can win that game, which, which is more complicated. Right? Um, okay, so, but there was an issue, so the, Models that we used were elementary sum models of some H theta, uh, maybe that H theta zero. But then in the next step, we have to use elementary sum models of a bigger theta, H theta, and bigger and bigger. And then there is the issue what to do with limits, etc. But now having, having this idea in mind, we define the collection of models that we will use eventually. So they won't be exactly elementary sum models of H theta, but somehow morally there. Um, but now I want to say what you have here. Um, so we will fix uh, fix uh, uh, an inaccessible kappa. Now this. Um, one should be able to eliminate this, but there is an expense to pay a complicated thing. So let's not worry about any excessive kappa at the moment. Kappa, which is bigger than uh, whatever the size of pi. And um, <clears throat> we're going to work inside uh, V kappa. <clears throat> we define a set of uh, I think I call it, we call it uh, script P. E. So this is the set of lambdas such that V lambda epsilon. Maybe I need some term. I don't need any. Uh, so the V lambda is element. Um, so this is. Kappa, 
And then there is some set of, uh, which is a club in Kappa. Club. Uh, and for each alpha in E, uh, we are going to define a collection of models that we call alpha models. Okay. Um, before I tell you the definition, I mean, uh, what is the idea? Uh, so our poset will be uh, defined over B kappa. So it will be a subset of B kappa. I mean, the formula phi is somewhere here, very small, so we go quite high. Um, and uh, But then we want to go beyond uh, and Maybe we want to prove uh, our idea of, of proving um, stationary. No, the tau positive SSP would be to show that um, there are enough models for which we have, there is a projective stationary set of models for, we, for which the poset that we build is semi proper so it's not semi-proper for all models, but for a large collection. This, I mentioned that that's actually equivalent to um, the SSP. Uh, so we're going to look at some models. And, and the idea is um, our conditions will have two uh, parts. It will be, uh, this, this is the kind of, um, I like this notation. So condition is P and it has two parts. The, models of P and the working part. The working part will be in this. Uh, so it would be a finite partial assignment, but I put index P to, so that I do, otherwise you have to keep track of, if I say P is N W, then Q is N U, and then you get lost. But this, in this way, you just keep it. Okay, so um, <laughs> the, the kind of, the, the, the um, how are we going to arrange um, um, semi progress? I mean, not, again, not for all models, but so we're going to take some P and then uh, we we have some model here in H theta. Of course, it has some stuff below, okay? Uh, to, to put, um, to, to, to prove uh, semi properties for this model, our idea is, I tell you what the idea is in advance, so the, so the, what the construction do will make sense. Our idea would be, well, I just put the model on top of the models of MP, but I cannot because I've already committed myself, my positive. So, uh, so we have some N elementary sub model of H theta. Instead of putting N on top of P, we are going to choose some lambda uh, in E, uh, which is big enough and uh, such that uh, when we take the half of uh, N with V lambda, the uh, intersection V kappa is going to Is this M the MP here or? Uh, no. So you're given some uh, condition, and uh, this is an element of some M, which is an elementary sum model, but or something bigger. And somehow morally, you would like to put that model M on top. So you would like to take MP union something like M. But you cannot literally put M, you have to put something else. And so what I uh, would like to put is, first I choose some lambda, which is bigger than P. I mean, P is in the lambda, it's lambda should be in E. And I, I also want to take the hull. Uh, okay, so I mean, of course, N should contain the post. Maybe some stuff, the usual thing. Um, and then I want this to hold. Uh, and then instead of putting M on top of P, I will put M projected to lambda. I have to tell you what it is. 
And basically what I do is I take my n, which is, and I put this, take this model and take its transitive collapse and take the image of n under this curve. So basically, I keep everything below the lambda that I have, and the stuff above kind of drops. Okay, so that's the operation. Um, so if uh, if n is elementary sum on H theta, and you have lambda less than kappa. Uh, so how we define uh, n as follows. We take the half of n together with the lambda, take its transitive collapse, Uh, by the way, this model is transitive below uh, below lambda. So basically, uh, you know, things above get collapsed. And then I want to take uh, m is just pi of n. So the pushes down the part of m below. I mean, typically, this lambda will be about everything that m has below the cup. Uh, so it's the stuff, so lambda is like this, and then the stuff above, you just push it below, down. Okay, so, and we want to use this kind of model. Um, so, uh, now this motivates our definition. Uh, now I want to describe the collection of models that we use at many alpha, lambda, in, uh, in E. So this is the collection of um, let's see. Um, so say lambda is so definition suppose uh, lambda is E. Um, then um, uh, we define the collection C lambda. So these are models M, which are, so M is in C lambda. If M is a countable, countable satisfies GFC, no, GFC, I don't know. Too specific, but ZFC without a box of like right? ZFC, right? Uh, okay, just minus. Okay. So, and also, um, M is a, I have to be able to talk about this model. I mean, you give me M. What is this model going to be? Uh, I mean, if you started from this and you did this operation, uh, this is going to be just the transitive closure. So, and uh, okay, I want to also lambda. What else do I want to be in M? Uh, phi, whatever. Phi, B lambda. Uh, maybe some more stuff is an element of M, and M is uh, elementary sum all of M head, but this is just a transitive. Think about basically, I'm trying to define the collection of all these M. I don't know what theta would be, so I just try to define it locally. Given lambda, I say, okay, okay, this M is going to be like, maybe there are some other M's that will fall in, but that's fine. I just have to include the one, this one. Okay. Uh, it's important that actually lambda itself is an element of, well, of course, V lambda, so lambda is also an element. And, uh, uh, 
form of rich data. N is uh, how, not exactly. So you, N is uh, actually something like this. So you take the hull of some higher age data and then do the add the lambda to it, the half, take that half, so that's very deep. And then try to take the transitive collapse and then take the image of that. So basically the stuff that is a bar kappa, you just push it out. What's written there, does that make sense? And is it an elementary assumption that the transitive flow goes down? This is supposed to play the role of this. Not the transitive collapse. Transitive collapse is a little transitive. So is yeah, it's transitive. Closure. 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 So, um, okay. Um, then we define uh, C if S is a subset of E, uh, C S is just the union of the um, C. Uh, in in S. S. So in particular, we are going to talk about C. Well, uh, okay, maybe I want to allow this even just to be completely correct. Uh, it's not just the subset of kappa, and then this is E intersection. Uh, uh, lambda is in. Oh, but then there is a notation of difficulty. What is C lambda? Is it uh, so? Maybe I just so C. So there is C less than lambda. It's the obvious notation. I mean the obvious thing, and C bigger than equal lambda, etc. Um. Okay. So this is the collection of models that we would use. Um, if you have, <laughs> yes, when you want to choose your models, what is the problem that you have in mind that you're trying to solve? I, uh, I'm trying to prove semi property. So uh, the proof will be, or okay, if you like stationary set reserve, uh -huh. uh, you will give me some stationary subset X of omega one. Uh, I will find a, and uh, a condition. Um, and I have to show that this condition preserves this. Okay, sorry, I want to say, I want to show that stationary subsets of omega one are preserved. So you give me a stationary subset of omega one X, you give me a condition and you give me a name for a club, I mean, a club in some H tag. And I have to find a model which is countable whose intersection with omega one is in this stationary set, and which is closed under this option, which is in the top. Uh, and for which, so I can do that in V, and, but then I need to find a condition which is semi-generic for this model. And that condition will be, I take that model, that model is higher up, it's in H theta, I do this operation, I, I find first a good lambda. So lambda, which is um, uh, closed. I, so, so, so then I project this model to lambda and take the condition that I have P and put the model and on top, provided I can. I mean, it has to be, and that's yeah, what lambda. goodness means. Yes. yes, okay. And then I argue that, um, well, the definition is made so, that this condition is going to be semi-generic. So it's basically making the definition of the proof <laughs> Um Okay, so, uh, uh, right, so we will take P and add M, uh, not M, M projected to lambda on top, and then we argue that this is uh, semi-generic uh, semi over M. Um, so we can do this operation. I mean, if you have uh, alpha less than beta and you have a model N, which is, which is in C beta, you can define this projection, uh, which is you just take the hull of M together with V alpha, take the 
trans plots and take the image of them. Uh, this may not be, if this is, is if this may not be, may not be in C alpha. Uh, because you don't know here there's this requirement. So you don't know that the alpha will be in in this projection. Uh, but if it is, then 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 it's okay. So this is the only thing that you don't know. But it actually we will not use it. We don't need it. So. Okay, so given an M, uh, given an M, okay, so the C is the C kappa, I mean. In other cases, when you do models inside the machines, you have to always have this problem that you want to put the model in kappa. Yes, but you actually do it inside stunt H theta and you take, so all the models are the uh, sum models of the same H theta, the cycle inches. And then you take an um, uh, elementary sum model of some bigger H theta star, and then you just intersect. Oh, yeah, because um, why doesn't that disappear? Oh, because your theta has go up. Yeah, the theta has go up because once you build, this is a, if you see in the previous constructions of models, uh, posets where you use side conditions, you don't do an inductive construction, you just fix one theta and you take finite chains of models, elementary samples of that same H theta. And then there's some working. Well, here it's a bit okay. subtle. You have to keep changing the theta. And it is important that if you have a model, I mean, the construction will be completely canonical. I mean, so once you have B lambda, I mean, suppose you are you have some lambda, and, uh, uh, and a lambda is in E, and you have one M, which is, uh, we call it a lambda model. Uh, so it has uh, V lambda in it, and it has phi in it. I mean, all the models contain phi, I mean, if I don't mention it. Yeah? So the model can just reconstruct, use the definition, and we'll get exactly the same thing up to lambda. So the poset, there will be some posets P sub lambda, which is you only use models up to lambda. Okay. So, Let's see what else. I think now we have. Um, okay, and given a model M, which is uh, then we have uh, there is a unique uh, uh, lambda M, which is the unique lambda such that M belongs uh, unique such that M is in C lambda M, right? Because it's the and uh, there is a delta M, which will be an intersection. So I will just use this. Delta M is the omega one of M, and the intersection is omega one, and lambda M is the level where this one occurs. Okay, so now I define the set of preconditions. So um, it's more or less what I said. Uh, but they're not. Uh, we're not going to use all three conditions, and we're only going to use those for which we can win a certain game. Right? Okay, so three conditions. Uh, so, uh, if we so three conditions. So given some lambda in E, um, I define, well, okay, I mean, if you want, uh, you can put morally cap itself. I mean, that, so this is an inductive construction. So first we, um, we define P lambda star. So star is because that's not the final positive. It's the kind of candidates for the positive. So uh, that would be, P if uh, so P is of the form a bunch of models and some WP. Um, the models come from um, but the models come from um, 
the models come below below that. So uh, M P is subset of C. I will write like this. So you only use models up to level of uh, lambda, less, uh, less than lambda. Uh, WP is uh, an element of our H of pi. Um, and then uh, when you, okay, so this is a bunch of models. You, you want this uh, to be the kind of epsilon chain. So let me just write it like this. Suppose M and N are in N P, uh, then um, uh, um, it's actually, I mean, think about it like this. So N P is a bunch of models, N, N minus one, they are, um, they're, they're, they form an epsilon chain and also their lambdas increase. So, um so uh if uh, so we have two cases if delta n equals delta n then n is equal to n and if so the, if they have the same okay. omega one is actually with omega one then they're the same so basically uh, this and then otherwise, if delta n is less than delta n, then lambda n, n is less than lambda n, and n is an element. So, You have several lambdas, you have one and zero, and one, and that, and, and this one. They form, of course, if they form an epsilon chain, the, the lambdas will, uh, they, they, they are, uh, well, actually, I don't know if I even have to. Oh, yeah, no, they could be, you don't want them to have the same lambda. So they come from different levels. Um, and the levels are, they cannot decrease because this model, I mean, this model has some stuff here, lambda. Uh, so, okay. And, uh, yeah, they're in excellent chain. But I described, I, I, maybe this is not the best way to say, they form an epsilon yeah. chain, but also <laughs> the lambdas of the models, the, they are also increasing. They don't come from, you don't allow, for example, two models at this level for the same. They go up. Um, okay, then, and also you want the WP to be, I, I said, that's all. Um, that's all I want to say about these are the preconditions. Just to take, so the, uh, so MP is finite then? It's yes, finite. Right. Um, and then what is the restriction of P to, uh, so, okay, suppose P is in P lambda uh, star, and then you have some uh, mu less than lambda. This is only defined for lambdas in E, okay? Uh, you could, I mean, just to save uh, in subscripts, you know, you could enumerate, but there's no need. So, um, so what is P? Uh, you just take the models. So this is uh, uh, N P uh, mu W P. And what is this? These are the models in N. Uh, in MP, with lambda and is less than mu. So you just keep uh, as mu. You keep those that are uh, in uh, or high, uh, level less than mu. So P, you will have that P 
mu will be a subset of p lambda. If lambda is mu is less than, I, I hate this. Uh, it oh, should be always lambda less than mu. Uh, in should be alphabetic order, but okay, I already did the mistake. I guess. Um, this will not be a complete sum of the chain. So then, uh, if they were complete sum orders, it's kind of, it could be used, but they're just sub orders. Yeah? You use only models up to mu. Um, the working parts are the same. Uh, for lambda, you use the models up to lambda, so you have more models. But this is just by definition. Okay, so now, um, um, wait, the, those were the pre the precondition process. Yeah, this is the pre. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is the precondition. Now I have to tell you uh, which uh, which uh, what are actual conditions. Well, um, then now, so this is defined just at once. Now, the right end of the street is new because then we will get new inside and what if the other and here and here should be about that, just about that, not that one, that one, yes. Does that mean mu belongs to mu? Mu is an order. Yeah, no, no. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Mu is an order. So I'm just, I mean, this is a finite chain of models of different levels, different. And I just take those that levels are below mu. That's all. I thought restrict means this is quantity. I know this is for a single model, and this is a bunch. Of, okay, maybe I should take, I don't know how to write this. Put this that just means cut the term, cut the term yeah cut the uh, okay. there is no projection okay yeah okay i understand this is a because for models actually it's not intersection you you take half transposure blah blah but this is not a, one model it's a set of models <laughs> and i'm just cutting down of the first you know few okay so to say now what the path, what is the, now I have to define, okay, this is the potential condition. Uh, now we define the actual condition. <laughs> Can I read? Mm -hmm. So for this, we, uh, suppose we have defined uh, P for smaller, uh, Posets um, uh, so we, we define inductively P lambda. <laughs> um, and the inductive uh, assumption is going to be um, let me see. So lambda, so inductive assumption. Is that well, lambda is in E. This is not. Okay. I, I want to say that the, the posets have been defined uh, for the big psi, psi in lambda intersection E uh, defined, uh, defined. It's going to be a uniform definition. Um, if psi is in lambda intersection E, uh, then P psi is a subset of P psi star, and uh, and P will be sub the models will be some models of C less than psi. So basic, I mean, nothing very deep. I'm just saying the peak side will be just, a, we have the peak size stars. They're already defined. They are sub orders of each other, not complete sub orders. Anyway, we're never going to use that. This is just, um, okay. So then we define a certain case. Now, given, given 
Um, a, now, given a condition P in P, uh, given P in P, It's going to flow again, and uh, we are going to uh, say P lambda will be this, those P's for which player two has a um, Okay, so we have the game G, G lambda of P. Uh, so um, we uh, start with, I don't know, P minus. Where in two players in two is going from P0 to P1. Now I'm just making a general definition. Uh, so um, player one can ask a question about phi. Remember, phi is just a bunch of clauses. So you play one and play a clause. I'm just going to write it like this. Um, and then you have to, you as player two, as before, just pick a literal in the clause uh, and then add it to, and then set. So this is one type of, uh, and then you set a uh, key. Uh, okay, you're at some stage N, right? Stage N. And you have P, P, N minus one. And then one possibility, maybe you say at even stages you play this, type will move and then all stages you play the other. Okay, so then you say, at the next stage you say, just add this literal to, well, this literal actually gives you a kind of assignment to that, you know, it's a literal, is it a variable, proposition there, or it's negation? So if you decide to put this literal in, that means you are making a certain assignment to that value. So if I, uh, then we just say PN is uh, MP, I don't change the models, and I just say double uh, MPN, uh, N minus one, and then WPN minus one. You, uh, and this is a little bit of, abuse of notation, right? Uh, but you know what I mean. I just may, I want this literal to be. So increase the assignments to, that is one type of. Um, the working parts are always the, the finite, finite. Uh, partial assignment. So this is type one. And type two move is, it's kind of what we had before, uh, you, uh, you as player one can pick one of the models of MP. So this is type one. And now type two. Uh, so one picks uh, a model from M MP, one of the models of M. Uh, Pick some n in n p. N picks a dense set or pre dense set or maximal integer set. Uh, m p n minus one. Uh, so, yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. And some dense set, which is in n, but dense in what poset? Remember, we're doing an inductive construction. So which is dense in, um, which is dense in, um, dense in P lambda sub this N. But this posit is already defi uh, defined. So we are at some lambda and we have a condition uh, which is, um, uh, which has a bunch of models, but the, the lambdas of these models are smaller than our. So the positive is already defined. 
Okay. Am I con uh, is that convincing? I've got a little bit lost. Is yeah. the, uh, the, are we defining the game based I'm on defining the game. Starting from a single condition, P, I'm going to tell you these are good conditions. These are the ones that I want to keep. Uh, so, uh, and they are defined. So, first you define a game, and uh, then you say, this, the game is closed. That's going to be obvious because the only requirement for player two is that the it doesn't produce a contradiction. So, um, um, okay, so the, there are two types of moves for player one. I, I think of them as questions. Question is, one question is, okay, here is a clause, uh, please satisfy it. And then you as player two have to say, okay, in from this clause, I pick this literal. So you put it to the assignment. This is the type one. Type two movies say, okay, but you also promise that this process that you're building will be more and more semi pro for us. So here is a model, one of your models that you gave me that are in this. And here is a then set in the process that is already defined for lambda of that model. Please give me a. Um, um, a, a, an element, so now two uh, picks some Q in this D, which is compatible with P and minus ones. Okay. Uh, uh, but which is contains some P and which is an extension of P and minus one and Q. So that's your requirement. If you cannot do that, you stop, you lost. Uh, but also you can say, well, Q, uh, D is X, so there's no problem. However, <laughs> you want this Q to be addable to the model N, such that uh, also, I mean, and um, the hull of N together with uh, this uh, Q intersection omega one is M intersection omega one. Remember, this is delta M, and so this is the delta M of this model. I mean, delta the the extended M. So this is your your, your challenge, right? Uh, you have to find a member of the dense set or, or a maximal interchain if you like. So important. Which is compatible with P and minus one. That's easy, but you also this. This is the hard part. Um, and that's it. So that's the game. Uh, so uh -huh. and the requirement is that that uh, the W WP N is uh, in it's consistent. So. Uh, requirement is WPN is in H of phi. So you don't have obvious, I mean, it's more than that, but well, actually, I mean, it doesn't matter because it would be uh, automatically, if you just, if you don't, uh, if you just say it's consistent. I mean, mm -hmm. there's no problem. When I say consistent, I, I don't mean, I mean, it just, you don't have an explicit contradiction. You don't have a leap uh, a variable and its negation that that is both true. Okay, so that's the definition of the post. Um, so, um, then, uh, now you go, uh, so so what is it that we want? Uh, okay, so this is, so the question is, uh, go to pick up. So we've defined this for, we've defined it for all lambda less than, well, pick up is just going to be the union of the pick up. There is no, you don't add any couple of marks, so. Uh, so, uh, it is clear uh, 
uh, it is clear that uh, P kappa, if I force with P kappa, uh, this adds a satisfying assignment of, of pi. Actually, it's true for any pillar. Um, I don't, maybe you cannot put any models. But if you don't put more, I mean, P0 is there. So, um, so P lambda has a satisfying, satisfying assignment. Because in all these games, uh, player one can always um, request to extend, you know, play another clause and player two has to find a, a, a literal in that clause to make it uh, The issue is if you don't put any models, uh, you, you, you are basically in P0. And the question is whether you can add models, but, you know, so the P, P kappa is not empty, it contains P0. That's what I want to say. So the issue that we uh, that we are concerned with is when is p kappa as the speed station set preservation? Is it okay? So the issue is uh, when is p kappa as a speed? So I want to give you one condition. This was isolated by Opera. Sort of, it extracts the, uh, um, uh, so we call it AS consistent. You can imagine the next problem. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, um, uh, sorry, uh, did I miss the uh, actually formally defining what P lambda is? Is it uh, the those conditions where someone has a winning strategy? Yes, so P lambda are those P's in P lambda star such that layer two has a winning strategy. And the issue will be, I mean, you have some P condition in P lambda. Okay, it has all its models are below lambda. And then you want to say, okay, when can I put a, a lambda model on top of this? That's what we have to answer. So here is the AS good. Or AS consists. So this condition will, you know, the, I can describe this for any phi. It will give you some poset. It will, this poset will add the satisfying assignment. There's no reason why it should be this. So we tell you, here is a situation which is guaranteed to, to preserve station set. And it is the following. It's actually not that bad. Um, So uh, if for every S stationary subset, stationary subset, and for every um, so this is in D, uh, then you do the um, Levy collapse of kappa. Uh, so. Let's say you go to, uh, sorry, do I want, uh, um, yeah. How do I call assignments? D, uh, little d. So for every d, uh, okay, I didn't say the formula is on some set of propositional variables. Uh, 
I think the way we denote it is by uh, by lower So, I, sorry, I, I shouldn't define this. So you have some formula psi, uh, but for us, formulas are just a bunch of clauses. So what is this? These are just the variables that occur in one clause of psi, okay? Um, so for every phi four, so that means the variables, Inside, I mean, in a clause that occurs in side, okay, two zero one. What supposed to be valuation? Valuation, okay, two zero one. And if, uh, now, if we, um, phi is quite small, I mean, phi uh, this is, I mean, small compared to being accessible, right? I mean. So um, when we do the Levy collapse, ah, sorry, it's for which exists in B of the collapse of, so you're allowed to collapse all small cards, so kappa, do the Levy collapse, so kappa becomes omega one. So phi uh, is kappa. So and remember, we have many satisfying, I mean, we assumed, of course, that phi is, is consistent, otherwise we cannot do anything. So, so but once we know it's consistent, means it's some generic extension it has a, a satisfying assignment, but then if it collapse, just so there are many such means. Uh, then I need there is an elementary value J from V into some or W. Uh, Critical point of J is omega one B and uh, this belongs to J of this. So any if you give me an assignment that exists somewhere, um, I can find an elementary embedding, by the way, this is not an, I mean, there are different ways how we can get some um, But there is an elementary embedding from V into W with critical point omega one of V, which gets into S, J of S. Okay, so far, you know, if I have any, just a, if, if I know that N S omega one is precipitous, I can do it. But actually, I'm not even requiring that this, uh, you don't need to kind of do, do all of it, just truncate V up to some point. And this G, um, uh, sorry, this J doesn't, doesn't have to be, generic. I mean, okay, I just stated it like this, then we can say how we, we get such situation, but I, I'm not done yet. Uh, what does it have to do about this valuation? Uh, well, the valuation is not in V. I mean, I would like to say that this, but, uh, but I cannot apply J to J to this valuation. But I can apply point wise because it's just an assignment, zero and one, and to the variable. So, um, and there is V hat. Now, uh, assignment from J of phi which satisfies, I didn't say here, V satisfies phi. Uh, maybe I said it, I didn't write it. So for any solution to phi, you think, then I can stretch it to a solution of J of phi in such a way that uh, it respects uh, what I've decided. Now, um, maybe I can say J, I cannot apply J to V, but I can apply point wise. Yeah. 
for them to these things exist. Mm -hmm. uh, they exist in the collapse of uh, the J exists when you do enough. I mean, actually, you don't really need this. You can do this with virtual. Uh, v hat exists, does not exist in W. V hat exists in uh, V of the class. The embedding is definable in the uh, class. Okay. So the minimum one that the embedding is defined in this class. Yeah, but the embedding doesn't have to be from all of V. It can be from some initial state, but it's not so important. This is, so it's somehow, what does it say? I mean, it says that if you imagine a, a satisfying assignment, what does it mean? Imagine it exists in some class. Then this satisfying assignment can be stretched pointwise so that to a bigger, more, I mean, somehow, uh, so to get omega one of b in the given stationary set, and this embedding can be uh, sorry, this assignment can be stretched to b hat, which also satisfies this. Um, so some things are in some modes. <laughs> um, um, this is the, the let's just go over it one more time. So. You have the formula phi is in B, and the set of variables which on which it lives is in B. Um, the assignment little v is not in B. It exists in some class. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to go all the way to K because once you this collapse the size of phi, you just look at those assignments. Uh, those satisfies. So it says, okay, if you give me a generic satisfying assignment, there is an embedding from B to W. This, this embedding, maybe I need to do some more collapse. Uh, and in that generic extension, in the collapse extension, I can define embedding on the ground of V into some model, w, which has critical point omega one and uh, and the omega one, and somehow, I mean, think about it. Okay, if you, if you, um, if you want, uh, this maybe we can find some, maybe the non station idea is precipitous, but this you don't need that. But, but let's say it's precipitous. That means I can pick a generic ultra filter containing S, and then this could be the output. Could be more, it could be an iterated ultra power, it could be, you know. Various things. Okay, but in, so this is the key condition. Uh, so if I can kind of maybe this is the set of variables uh, on which this set this lives. I mean, uh, this is exactly the kind of thing you want for the. Something will be semi pro. I mean, we will actually prove semi properties for the kind of pointwise image of V in this W. It's not countable model, but you can take a HAL and prove it there and then use elementarity and prove that. That's kind of the idea. Um, but the, 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 the thing is, somehow all the definitions are cooked up so that. Uh, the proof works. Now, what do I mean the proof works? Uh, so that the construction works. So, so that the P kappa preserve station sets, or if you like, it's per, you know, uh, uh, you, there are enough good models. I mean, models for which player two has been such. So can I, how are we doing with time? Maybe I just do, uh, it's actually, I just do one proposition to tell you to see, um, sort of encapsulates the, um, the, I mean, what's going on. And then, then you have to repeat, I mean, 
you say a model is good if we can put it on top of any condition that belongs to it. Somehow it's a pro it's kind of semi properness thing. And then we have to show that um, if the set of uh, good models is projectively stationary, then the whole set is stationary set preserving. That's fine. And the last thing is this condition that I wrote, AS consistent, implies that the set of good models is projective station. Uh, but somehow it looks as linear. So maybe I just uh, define what is a good model and it's kind of trivial, but so this condition, maybe you can forget at the moment, then I will. Uh, I will remind you, I mean, uh, later. So, but somehow this means you sort of get the idea that where we want. Um, um, okay, so <clears throat> let's suppose we have, so this is the AS consistent condition, but now before I uh, even do anything about it, I want to say what is a good model. Do I this? Is, is someone taking notes or? So uh, I define my force P cup. Uh, well, I define the chain of it, right? Um, so uh, let us say a more. I don't like this. Good is abused, overused, no. but okay, that's what we use. Um, Could it be excellent or something? Yeah. Is it like that good, or is it just it's fine? It's fine. <laughs> uh, M is good if for all you can also be fine. It could be. Um, what if it was like okay? So okay, here's the definition. I'm sorry. Definition. M is a good model. Now M is what? It's an elementary some model. I mean, actually, I, it doesn't have to be. It's just a model satisfying some ZLC minus. But in practice. In practice, uh, it's going to be an elementary sum of the sum of each theta for theta much bigger than bigger than Okay, is good if for every p. Okay, I assume that n contains phi kappa whatever you need, right? So, so that I could make this definition. So if for every P in P kappa intersection M, somehow um, I can put M on top of the models of P, but I cannot because a priori. I remember it's not M that I put. I put M projection to some lambda. Okay. There is some lambda in so lambda is less than kappa. Um, such that um, it contains kappa intersection M. So basically, uh, and um, I can take uh, M projected to lambda. That's a legitimate model. And um, I can put M on top. I, I not put M, I can put this one on top. Uh, so there is some Q, but this Q is just uh, uh, in P kappa, I would just say, uh, such that M. Actually, we can always take Q to be, uh, you don't, I mean, there's no reason to quantify. You just say this one. So a model is good if you can if you can put it on top, well, not literally, but some version of that model, some projection of that model, which is high enough uh, that it contain it has you didn't you know this is the kappa. So 
some H theta, if you like, and then this M, M has some stuff below, and then the stuff above. Now, the, you don't move the stuff below, you just move the stuff above, and you this that. And this is the and this is the model. And so the claim is that um, if M is good, then the poset P kappa is semi-proper for that particular M. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, so yeah, claim, yeah, no, that's right. So claim or proposition, if M is good, implies <laughs> P kappa is semi proper for M. Uh, in, in other words, this condition will be P kappa M semi generic. That is, I mean, a normal mystery with what is going to be the uh, semi generic condition. You just, you don't, <laughs> things are cooked up so that just by putting M projected to lambda, on top, if we can do it, then it becomes semi proper because we have the option of playing the game. I mean, the game sort of tells you that a player one can ask, okay, here is the dead set. Okay, there's something to be said, so maybe I just do it slowly. Um, so basically, I, what I'm saying is that this condition will be semi generic for M, M semi-generic. And this is saying, what, well, for every P in P kappa and section M, I can put M on top, it's a legitimate condition, and then the next, if I show that this condition is semi-generic, then, uh, okay, so why is that condition semi-generic? Um, well, uh, because, <laughs> okay, I mean, there is something to say. I mean, you have a dense set in M, a dense set in P cup, and you have the, but in this model, M, you don't have that dense set, but you have its image under the, the projection map, right? Uh, so you uh, could play that image that is. Uh, Going, but remember, we require that lambda is an element of n. Uh, sorry, uh, lambda is an element of this. The, the, so basically, cap in this in this map, uh, the which map from 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 n to n. Projected. This is not the transit collapse. Is that you take you add the, you add v lambda and take the transit collapse and then you take that that's the, that's your map. The map is you take the hull of m together with v lambda and you take its transitive collapse and then you restrict that transit collapse to m itself. See where it maps. But this will map pi of kappa will be one. Because kappa is in N and N intersection uh, lambda, uh, uh, N intersection kappa, v kappa is a subset of V lambda. And then we are throwing in all of V lambda. And we uh, do I have to stay? I don't know if I want to say this. I want, but this should be follow from the definition. Uh, hey, um, how of n v lambda intersection v kappa is v lambda. That's what we really want. I mean, I want that kappa gets mapped to lambda. Okay. 
So, um, okay, so um, why does, why is this condition Q, which is just adding and uh, uh, projected to lambda on top, why is that semi generic? Well, that's because uh, this position, uh, you can win the game. I mean, uh, uh, when in the game you are allowed to play a dense set for any of the models here, for example, from the top one, but then they, they come from dense sets. If kappa gets left to lambda, then the dense sets that you have here uh, in p kappa, they are actually come from dense sets in, uh, sorry, they are dense sets in p lambda. Uh, they come from dense sets in p kappa, which is the process that you are interested in. So if there is some density here, you can map it by pi. That's a, and that gives you a legitimate loop in the game. And you have to, as a player one, you can make that loop. Then um, I should be able to find a member of density that I can add to that model. So you have to check certain things. So I can add that uh, member of the, the density to this model and not increase omega one then the same is true for n. I can add it to n. This is just going through the definitions. So um, I, I, it's, there's nothing more. I mean, I, OK, then you just run through the definition. Um, OK, so what I didn't tell you is now this complicated condition or somewhat, we try to simplify it as much as possible. Maybe there are better ways to say it. It's sort of made to show that, um, so that, that there are enough good ideas. And I will not prove it. It's not very difficult. It's just what you have to prove. I just sketch what you have to do and then because we're running out of over time a bit. But what's, what's going to be the punchline of the Asperger's this formula that the word Considering is it is that is the uh, yeah. AS consistent that for this formula, and I will tell you how they do it, why they do it, but we just extract what is going on. Yeah. Um, so you have to, so I'm just going to wave my hands a bit. You have to show that the set of good models is project station. Um, so that's where this AS consistency comes in. Um, so if you give me some algebra F from a capital F on H theta, uh, and you give me a stationary set, I have to find some. So given, uh, then you have to give me, I have to find some M elementary in H theta countable containing all the relevant things and closed under closed under F. Uh, M intersection omega one is in S and M is good. Um but so what, what do we do? Um, well, we um, we don't do it in um, in V. We do it in W. <laughs> um, so um, uh, Well, okay, I mean, so we actually show that, um, we show a little bit more, but this is actually clear, that the set of good models is not just the vector stationary, but it is what is called a local club. A local club means that if instead I take a more elementary sum model of H theta of size omega one, then for, now I can write that as a union of countable models. So stationary, many of those countable models are so on any elementary sum of size omega one, uh, no, sorry, 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 no. On any sum, again, sorry, on any elementary sum of 
x of h theta or sine of omega one, I can write x as an increasing continuous chain of countable sine. Club many of these models will be good. This is what is called local club. It's not the club among all sub models of H theta, but locally on any sub model of size omega one, it is a club. And so how do you prove that? You say, okay, suppose I give you X, so I'm not gonna write now because I give you an X uh, elementary sub model of H theta or containing, you know, closed under whatever you want, blah, blah. blah. And uh, it's a size omega one, and it contains omega one as subset. And I write it as a union of, you know, x is an elementary sum of h theta, and it's the union of x size. And now these are count, and they're elementary. And now I say, okay, I want to say that club for club many size x psi is good. Suppose not. So there are, suppose the set of psi such that x psi is not good, is stationary. Well, I mean, then you say, okay, but for club many psi, x psi intersection omega one would be psi. There is, I mean, there is an enumeration of x in x omega one and x psi is just the first psi element. So this is easy. And so, okay, so basically just look at those psi. So there is a club. Of things x psi into good, I mean closed enough, or I shouldn't say good, uh, closed enough. And then there is a set of psi which are such that x psi is bad for this other thing. So just restrict on those. So look at the set of psi such that x psi intersection omega one is psi, x psi is the first psi elements of x in the you know, omega one enumeration of x, and x psi is not good in this sense. So it's not good means there is a, a P in X psi for which I cannot do this. So the set of such psi is stationary for each of them you pick an element. So you just by pressing down, there's the stationary many psi uh, for which it's the same element. It's the same element. Now that gives me a stationary set S, the set of psi's that uh, for which this P is bad. I mean, so with this or not bad, this um, is stationary. That's our S. So now remember the AS condition says given any S, uh, given any partial, uh, given any, um, uh, um, okay. So, so okay. So, so now uh, the condition was, and now I have to pick a lambda in E and which is um, big enough uh, so that um, closing under X is um, the hull of X and V lambda intersection V kappa is V lambda, it's closed enough. And um, so now I'm being a bit sketchy. Um, and then I do some collapse and get a, a satisfying us, I mean, get a generic over the P lambda. Okay, I know. And then uh, um, then use the, the AS condition to stretch that. Um, but the AS condition, there is the set of size which are bad. For the same condition for the same condition P. So just put that. That's our S, apply the AS uh, consistency to get your uh, embedding J such that uh, omega one of B is in J of S. And then uh, and then you actually show that. X uh, so okay, so you have this sequence of X size. Psi less than omega one, you have this in, in, in V, you apply J to it, and you take the, uh, so apply J and evaluate at omega one of V. That model is, the, this index is in J of S, and this, you show that actually this is a good model.
And uh, so why it's a good model, you have a winning strategy for player player two in that game. I know, I'm, but I, I just want to tell you. So you have the assignment inside V, and you can, this is the, the one you got from your generic, or thing with P lambda. I mean, you actually did it in some collapse. Um, uh, you have this embedding, but then you, so you have this side and side, but then you have J and you, your, uh, um, um, your condition said that this can be extended to bigger of J of phi. And then you use that to, to win the game for this model. Basically, the, the questions that come from V, you know what to use, what answer to use, use the generic one. Uh, the questions that are outside of V, um, I mean, this is point-wise image of V. Uh, the questions that are outside of V, you actually use this bigger assignment V, v hat, which you assume exists. This is not generic, you don't, I mean, it's just sounds. Okay. I the game is closed. So. Hmm? But the game is closed. The game is closed. So basically, you show that in W, you have a model, which is this, uh, for which you can win. And then by elementarity, uh, and, uh, yeah, and you win this game against, you actually win the game not in W. Because you need this assignment V hat. And you need V and V hat. You don't have that. You win this game in the V of the collapse, where you have everything. But the game is closed, so the existence of winning strategy is absolute. It, this is the key thing. Okay, but anyway, it's in the notes. I think if it's kind of, hmm? okay. Yeah. So I don't give you all the details, but you can check. It's not actually, it's rather simple. Then the key, key thing is, well, how is it, how, how do they get the AS condition? Um, well, that's in the second part of the paper, but basically, um, are they almost it? Hmm? Well, they don't state it explicitly, right? They, they do the proof for the case, but you can extract from the proof. Um, they use the fact that the object that they want to add is some uh, Pmax condition which belongs to some dense set, which is university. So they say take H omega 2 of V. Uh, they have the non stationary theory subject. Take H omega 2 of V. That's almost a Pmax condition, but it's not count. Okay, so that's its only problem. Let's collapse to make it count. Um, okay, then you can reinterpret your then set. It's because it's universally there. So then you take a condition that is in your then set, which extends your um, your H omega two of B, which is a strong condition, and it's in the then set. Okay, this is so that's what you really want, but. Uh, how do you get the 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 the, the AS bonus? You say, okay, this is fine, but now what I can do is I can iterate this. So we start with H omega two of V collapse. Make call that M. I mean H two omega V epsilon NS. Uh, the idea is I'm I'm thinking about the PMAX condition. The PMAX is not not just a model. It's a <laughs> countable model. Which is iterable. Uh, it has some idea, which would be the most stationary ideal, and there is some parameter. A. Okay. So that's to choose any parameter. I mean, you you're trying to prove that for any subset A of omega one, which correctly computes omega one of L of A is omega one, is Pmax today. So choose one, and that's the proof. And from this A, you can read the uh, filter, a Pmax filter, just all conditions, Pmax condition which correctly 
compute this any they have their own little a and when you do the generic integration you get this a that's a field that's easy to show i mean given the right assumptions but what is not clear is why this filter is generic over whatever all of R. so so in, in order to show that it's generic you kind of do reverse this is where's that i thought it's rather weird right you have a filter but you don't know it's generic so you actually force a condition that belongs to this filter and that set. It's kind of do the opposite. Usually you give a for, you, I give you a positive and you force with it and get the generic field. Here you already have a generic field. No, you already have a filter. Figure out what's generic. But why is it generic? I mean, it's not, but I can force to, I mean, if you give me a dense set, I can force a condition which belongs to that set and the intersection of that, that set. The then set them the filter. So what what they do is they take you, how are you going to use that your that your set is dense? You're going to take h omega two of b with an n s and your a, the one that you decided gives you the you want to show it's p minus generic. So that's that's your p minus it's not p minus condition because it's not countable, but once you make it countable, it's a p minus condition. Now you use the denseness of your the, of your set, that set, to say, okay, it has a condition which is stronger than this, which is in my dense set, and call that n. Okay, this is fine. Now we uh, we have this n, but um, this is the thing that we really want. But uh, how do we guarantee A as goodness? Well, or A as consistency. We take this N and we iterate it up to the, we did some collapse, so the omega one. So we iterate it up to the omega one of that generic extension. This also stretches the, I mean, uh, N is a stronger condition than M. So there is some kind of little iteration of M that aligns its non-station idea with the non-station idea of n. So now when you iterate n, you also stretch this iteration. Um, okay, so then, uh, the, and this is the key thing, is that the fact you have this local, okay, there is a countable mode, p mass condition, iterate, and you move to a strong condition, and which is in the dead set, and you iterate all the way up. Well, now this stretched embedding from v uh, from the h omega two of v to the omega one of that model, it actually can be lifted to all of v. I mean, it's just an embedding of h omega two of v, but it can because it's in, uh, it iterated out the generic multiple. So, it, so you can eat it, and this is how you get your chain. Um, And okay, now you say, but what, they, what they're talking about, they're talking about something very complicated, a P-mass condition, an iteration, a stronger condition, which is in some dense set, which is universally bare, and then a further iteration of that N to the current omega one. All of this, you say, it's a, I can express by a propositional formula. <laughs> what you cannot express by a propositional formula is that the iteration of N the omega is correct, meaning uh, it aligns its uh, no uh, this ideal with the true net. And this you actually get by this. Uh, this is something extra. You cannot just by satisfy finding a solution to a proposition of formula would not be enough. But in some sense, it's it's actually to be expected because it, the theorem is that Nn plus plus implies something, right? implies star. So if we just do what I described to you yesterday and today, where the plus plus, where do we use the plus plus? We use it in saying that we have an iteration of the model that we built. We, we, we actually built some version of H omega two of B, but that's going to be countable in that condition. And another count and a, a little iteration of it to, and then extension to a, another P minus condition and an iteration of that. So, uh, so this is, sorry, what did I start saying? 
yeah. So, um, so the, to to be to 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 witness that this iteration of n up to the current omega one is uh, correct, you need that certain names for stationary sets are interpreted as actual stationary sets. And the fact that there are names for stationary set, what names? I mean, all sets which are stationary from the point of view of n or some iterate that appear in some iterate of n, you have to say that stationary many times you put it in the generic field. But if you don't say anything, it's just, it will happen. By density, you will, uh, when you, because you need to do your iteration of n, up to mega one any way you like. So again, uh, it's generic, 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 generic. Gener you kind of rely on luck. I mean, <laughs> rely on luck at the point. But this is where the plus plus comes in. So you actually, uh, you have, you force with P kappa and uh, you have names for stationary sets, which are these, what I told you. Um, and uh, okay, but, I hope this helps you actually read, if you yeah. want to go read uh, their paper, mm -hmm. or you can read our paper and then, actually it's uh, on the road very carefully how you get, and what are the then sets, so. Okay, so then we stop.